Hello there everyone, it's Shiny Sparky14 and welcome to a tutorial video on how to record PC games using the Elgato Game Capture HD. A lot of people don't know this strategy, you know, people like to use screen recorders, but there is actually a way to use this capture card and probably other HD capture cards and how to record uh, PC games. So let's go ahead and talk about that. First off, this is the Elgato right here as you can see. This whole box right here, so I'm going to go ahead and, well, you know, take this off. So when you open this up, the capture card itself will be over here on the right side. And then over here on this left side, there's a little paper that gives you instructions, which you can basically read. But it doesn't give you instructions for PC games because it's not really intended for that, you know, so we're not going to be needing that. But this thing over here, this is the capture card itself. I'm going to go ahead and take it out. It's a rather small capture card compared to other ones. This one has a, whoa, that is very blurry. Why is it that blurry? Hmm, let me see. What if I move it this way? That's weird. It wasn't this blurry. What's going on? Whatever. I'm pretty sure I can focus eventually. It was focusing earlier anyway. That says HDMI out and USB. And then this one says HDMI in and AV. And okay, there's also a reflection on the window. Yeah, why is it? Why is it so blurry? Okay, it doesn't really matter. Whatever. AV in, HDMI in, HDMI out, USB. So, yeah, we're going to be using three of the ports in here, not all four. Then when you open up this, this thing is going to appear. So I'm going to go ahead and put that, like, right there. Why not? So there are four different things. Keep in mind, though, that when you first buy this new, these things are obviously going to be sealed, all these bags and everything. Even the capture card will have a little, like, sticker or something up here. These things are not sealed, obviously, because I've already used it. I just repackaged it back in here to, like, reenact it for the video for you guys to make it easier. But, anyways. First cable is this component adapter. Good thing is that we do not need this, you know. We don't, because we're going to be using HDMI. So we don't need this cable at all, or adapter, whatever you want to call it. I'm going to put that on the side. The second thing it comes with is the USB cable. This thing is a necessity. You do need it. This connects from the capture card to the desktop. This thing is an HDMI cable. We're also going to be needing this. I'm going to go ahead and take this out. Let's see if I can... There, just... Alright, I'm making a lot of noise here. Sorry about that. Alright, there's the HDMI cable. And the final one is a PS3 cable. This thing is exclusive for the PS3 because it, the PS3 can't record HDMI, so because this is for a PC, you know, tutorial, we do not need this cable. So I'm going to go ahead and put this adapter back in here too, you know, because we don't need that. Alright, so we're going to be using two of the cables in here. Another note, you're going to need an extra HDMI cable. So, yeah, man, be before I keep going on, I'm just going to go ahead and tell you what you need. Okay, I'm having some trouble putting that in there. Okay. So... First off, you need a desktop or any type of computer that has an HDMI output. If you have an all-in-one computer, such as an iMac, this will not work. Your desktop needs an HDMI out. That way it can go into the input of the Elgato Game Capture HD. Second thing you need is another display. For example, I'm going to be using a Mac Mini. It's going to be right over there. I'm going to be using that's my Mini Studio. My Mac Mini is actually behind that display, which I'll show. You can kind of see it right there a little bit, the little silver thing. And that's the display I'll be using. And the display needs HDMI input. Also, you need two HDMI cables, not just one. Lucky for you, the Elgato comes with one HDMI cable, so you're halfway there. But you do need another cable. I do have another cable. It's a rather large HDMI cable, but here it is. HDMI cable, HDMI cable, Elgato Game Capture HD. And then this thing, which is the USB cable. So that's all you need. You need these things plus a desktop with an HDMI output and a display with an HDMI input. Now we're set. Let's go ahead and start connecting these things. First things first. The important thing is probably to, well, use this. USB. I don't know why that's so blurry, seriously. USB. So what we're going to be doing is getting this USB cable right here. I'm going to go ahead and put the HDMI's to the side for now. We're going to put the mini side of the USB cable, this end, and we're going to go ahead and plug it right in here. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and zoom in a bit. Oh, I'm having a hard time. 
All right, sorry about that. Sorry about that, like, chaos there for a few seconds. It's kind of hard to plug it in with one hand. I'm holding the camera with the other hand. All right, but there, there it is. It's in nice and tight. Now we're going to go ahead and move this over here. So let's, let's go to our mini studio and walk over there. All right. Right over here, we're going to go ahead and let's see how we're going to set this up. Did I put the capture card? Whoa, why is it like so, oh, it's like pixelated. Not, not pixelated, but it's like all these little dots are appearing on the screen over here. I guess it's not a very good environment for a lens camera or something. The big end of the USB cable will go behind my Mac Mini. This is my Mac Mini. That cable right there is for the keyboard. That's for my microphone. And this is a third USB cape, uh, USB port. It has four ports. Another one's right here in between. A USB port for the Elgato Game Capture HD. So that cable goes like that. I'm gonna leave that coil up in there so I don't cause a, some chaos. You know, I don't want to. I don't want that to happen. And I'm gonna go ahead and move this over here, like somewhere around. All right, that's pretty good, like that. See that USB in. Once you do that, well, I mean, usually you would be able to finally see something on the on the uh, Elgato Game Capture HD software on the display, but because we don't have HDMI's yet, we can't see that. Next thing you need is your first HDMI cable. This thing, we're going to go ahead and plug in one end of the cable right back here. The HDMI output, I know you can't see it, but for Mac Mini's, for this model of Mac Mini, it's right here. I'm going to go ahead and push that in there. There it is, nice and tight. It's in there. HDMI output. The output of this cable is going to go all the way, it's this right here. This thing, this thing is going to go on the input of the Elgato Game Capture HD. So, let's go ahead and, well, you know, put this over here. Okay, sorry if it looks a bit odd right now. I need to, I need to connect this damn thing in here, like seriously. Oh no, oh no. Get in there, you cable, get in there. All right, it's in. There it is. It's in. It was a bit difficult with one hand. Okay, the cable's going all the way over here. Let's go ahead and move it down a bit. That's that's all right. But there it is. The cable is right over here. Right there. Now, the Mac Mini or any desktop, you know, if you're using Windows desktop, whatever, any desktop will be outputting HDMI to the input of the capture card. Now we have to get the other HDMI cable, which is right over here. And we're gonna go ahead and, well, first off, uncoil it, you know, so it doesn't get all tied up. All right. One end of this cable right here is going to go to the output of the capture card, which is right here. Okay, I apologize that you can't see anything, but I'm trying to plug it in. Okay, there we go. There we go. Now it's outputting, and now where does this cable go? It's a very long cable, you see that following it? Oh yeah, there it is. This end will go to a display. In this case, it's going to be right over here. It's gonna be on, it's, it's right on this display right here. This display that you see, it's right here on the side. I know you can't see it obviously because it's too close up. So again, I do apologize. But I'm trying to, oh, no, it got tied up. All right, there we go. Oh, some disaster here, like seriously. Big disaster. All right, sorry, again, I'm sorry that you can't really see anything. Right now you're seeing the display, actually. All right, the output is, I mean, the um, input of the TV is right here. Right there, I mean, you can like barely see it. But yeah, it's right there. So basically, this long cable, I'm going to go ahead and put it on the back now. I'm just going to go ahead and drag this back here. Just like that. Alright. Now we're all set. Now, the Mac Mini is outputting to the Elgato. The Elgato is also connected via USB to a USB port of the Mac Mini. And then, it is outputting into this display, which means the Elgato is the center. So now that we got that taken care of, let's go ahead and change the input. Input, HDMI 2. Okay, you can't even see it, it's too shiny. But it'll come up soon. There we go, see that? It worked. It worked, and again, this works for any display, not just a Mac Mini. You can use a Windows desktop, as long as it has an HDMI output, 
and you use a USB port for the Elgato, it, it works fine. It works just fine. Okay. So now what we're going to do is we're going to open up the Game Capture HD, which is right down here. Usually this happens for a bit. Um, whenever you do this, when it's connected like this, but oh my god, that is a loud car. Yeah, usually this happens for a bit, but then eventually it does fix itself. So, see that? Alright, there there we go. See that? It, it always happens for like 5 to 10 seconds. It, it appears like it says no signal, but don't worry. It will come up. It will come up. Alright, now we're going to go ahead and zoom in a bit. Okay. Right there. Other. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Let me. Okay. Now. The settings for this, the settings for the software, always, okay, as you can see, it's being captured right there. Let's go ahead and zoom out a bit. It's being captured, as you can see. This is the screen, the screen it's capturing, and it works perfectly. It's showing up there. You want to come over here to this area, click on that, and this will bring up the options. So right here, there are, of course, you know, several options. And um, the one that you want to do is actually other there's many things, Xbox 360, Xbox One, PS3, PS4, Wii U, iPad, iPhone 5, iPhone 4 as an older, other. PC is obviously other. Go ahead and use HDMI. Standard expanded, these are other options, but just, you know, for now that. One other thing to keep in mind is if you accidentally switch this to component, it will not show up. It will not show up on your TV or display, whatever. The reason why is because you're telling the Elgato not to output HDMI, which means it can't output to the display. So, if you do that accidentally and click Component, what you're going to have to do is disconnect the HDMI cable, plug it back in directly into your display, from desktop to display, and then fix the options, or else it's not going to show up. It's not. Keep it at HDMI. Keep it at HDMI, and it'll work fine. Preserve source format, that, okay, I'm not going to talk about that now. For this, though, for a display of, you know, a computer, you want to uncheck it. Take a look at that over there, like the corner. Do you, do you see this? Wait, 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 yeah. This right here, if I plug, I mean, if I plug, really, if I click on this, do you see how it loses a bit? You don't want that to happen. You want it to capture the entire screen, so that means you want it to... Well, show the entire thing. So uncheck it so it shows the entire display. And that's pretty much it on that. Now there's only one other thing to be aware of. One other thing. Sound. Um, when you're doing, actually, before that, let me go ahead and just open up Steam or something. Just just for a you know, little example. I mean, by this point, you guys get it, that it works. But I do want to go ahead and show a quick example. I'm going to open up Steam. Alright, so I opened up Steam here. The reason why I'm doing this is because I want to go ahead and full screen something. So I'm going to go ahead and full screen this. And as you can see, here's the entire full screen. It's showing up the entire display. As you can see, it's full screened. And you basically see the whole thing. The Elgato is already rec recording. So what I'm going to do... Okay, just stop right there. I don't know why, but that's enough. That's enough time. I'm going to go ahead and escape now. Come over here and put stop recording. It was recording the whole thing. Now if I go to edit over here, you know, edit, it's going to bring up this. So what I want to do now is actually I'm just going to go ahead and fast forward it to about yeah, I was recording other stuff too. That, that was strange. But okay. If I put it like right here and then I play it, just watch this. This is the entire thing it's going to record. I'm going to full screen it. See that? It shows up the entire thing. It really does. I'm going to go ahead and cancel that. See? Full screen. Good quality too. No frame rate loss, really. So that's good. Now for one other thing before I get questions on this. The audio. The audio does not, it does not capture audio if you don't do it right. What you want to do for Max is actually come up here to this Apple thing on the top left corner and then go down to System Preferences. Then what you want to do is actually go to Sound and make sure that instead of internal speakers, output it to the Elgato. That way it will be outputting sound to the Elgato Game Capture HD. Then this over here will actually start lighting up like green. and Which basically means the Elgato is also capturing the sound from your computer. So don't forget to always click that if you want to capture audio, not just video. I'm going to go ahead and change it back because I don't need that right now. But that's pretty much it. 
it'll work perfectly. I have had no issues with it. Again, just to, just that little glitch. If you put it to component, it's not going to show up. So you have to you know fix it manually, and it's, it's yeah, it's a bit annoying. But anyways, that's pretty much it. Hopefully you found this video helpful. Yeah, hopefully you did. So thank you for watching, and goodbye everybody. And until next time.